Andrew Heaney had a big bounce back start. Let's discuss on Fantasy Baseball Today in 5. Welcome in to FBT in 5. Today is Tuesday, April 11th. I am Frank Stanfield, joined by Scott White. And let's get things started with Andrew Heaney, who threw five innings of one-run ball with 10 strikeouts, 19 swinging strikes. Scott, what did you see from Heaney in this start? And do you think he's a must-add, 67% rostered? It wasn't just that he got 10 strikeouts. The first 10 outs he recorded were all strikeouts. I don't know what happened with the last five outs. They didn't get any more. But obviously... A very encouraging turn of events here for Andrew Heaney after he allowed seven earned runs in his first outing. And that's just fitting for 2023. The state of pitching in 2023, just we can't find we can't get consistency from anybody except Julio Arias and Garrett Cole, basically. Um look, inning for inning, Andrew Heaney was uh one of the best pitchers in baseball last year. It was with the Dodgers, and he's not he doesn't have the oversight of the Dodgers anymore. They're an organization that's done some pretty miraculous thing with with uh, retreads like him. So that's reason to wonder if he can keep it going. But now that he's you know second start in, he has one this impressive. Even though it was against the Royals, I think you got to make sure he needs rostered again because there's a chance he does keep it going based on what we saw last year. Tough matchup this weekend at the Houston Astros, but it looks like. Andrew Heaney is lining up to face the Oakland A's next week, and obviously that would be a fantastic matchup. There was a pitcher's duel out in Atlanta, Scott. Graham Ashcraft is now two for two in quality starts. He went six innings, two runs, seven strikeouts. But even more interesting is what happened on the other side. Bryce Elder, six and a third shutout with seven strikeouts up against the Reds. Obviously not a great lineup, but a, a very good performance here. 14 swinging strikes on 103 pitches. Bryce Elder is up to 72% rostered. Who would you rather have, him or Andrew Heaney? I'd rather have Heaney. I think the upside's higher. The downside's lower, probably, too. I don't know. Maybe that's not fair to say because Elder certainly isn't a proven commodity. But my my point is I, I could see Elder emerging as a really just stable, uh, stable pitcher for you in fantasy, pitching for a good team in Atlanta. And just limiting damage, excelling at limiting damage. I don't think he has a ton of strikeout potential, though he's done better with that than I thought. Seven strikeouts and six and a third innings in this one equaled his career high with 14 swinging strikes. Uh, His slider was his most thrown pitch, which is not something we've seen from him so much previously. And it, it was responsible for seven of the 14 whiffs. Maybe that's a way Bryce Elder can become more of a strikeout pitcher. But I don't think that's going to be the name of his game. But remember last year, his final five starts down the stretch, Elder uh, had a 165 ERA, 0.92 whip, 9.1K per nine for the big club. It was with really favorable matchups, but he was obviously a stabilizing force there at the back end of the Braves rotation then. And uh, after Jared Schuster and Dylan Dodd have flopped, uh, Elder would seem to have a stranglehold on that role now. And his next starts at at Kansas City, so... Presumably, he'll turn in a good outing there as well. The big news from Monday was that Adam Duvall has a fracture in his left wrist. It will not require surgery. Haven't seen a timeline, but speculation that you know six to eight weeks, maybe uh, Duvall can return. He was awesome to start the year, but how do we now replace Adam Duvall? The most added outfielders this weekend were Brian Anderson, Miles Straw, Trevor Larnick, James Outman. You know, Straw and Larnick could be out there. A few other names that also could be out there. Jared Kelnick did not start on Monday with a lefty on the mound, but hit a majestic game-tying home run and is hitting the ball hard early on. Austin Hayes had four batted balls over 100 miles per hour. He went two for four with his second home run. Who'd you rather have, Scott? Jared Kelnick or Austin Hayes if you need an outfield replacement? I think if you have to start him right now, Austin Hayes is better just because he's playing every day. Kelnick sitting against left-handers. And of course, it's a bit more of a wild card. The strikeout rate has been very high for Kelnick still. But he is hitting the ball harder than last year. And he's seven for his last 17. So it seems like he's heating up. He is the upside play. But if if you can't afford to stash upside and, and instead need to go for safety in your lineup, then I guess 
I guess I would lead Hayes in that scenario. Let's say you play in a deeper five outfielder league. These are some names that have emerged recently. Chaz McCormick, Mauricio Dubon has second outfield and shortstop eligibility. Alex Call, Victor Robles, Brandon Marsh, and Jake Cave. Anyone that's standing out there, Scott? Let's say, you know, 15 team or five outfielder leagues. Yeah, I, I kind of like Marsh. He has some power, has some power, some speed. His strikeout rate, which was like 35% last year, has been closer to 25% this year. Doesn't mean it's going to stay there. But good things should result if it does. Uh, Marsh is another one who pretty much only starts against right-handed pitchers, so there's a playing time concern there. Alex Call has been leading off for the Nationals and getting on base a lot. He has a history of walking a lot in the minors. I'm not sure if his power is, you know, he had for decent power in the minors. Not sure if it's totally going to play in the majors. And so I don't have a ton of conviction when I recommend Alex Call, but I do think he's pretty interesting. All right, for more extensive fantasy baseball coverage, listen to the Fantasy Baseball Today podcast on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, the Odyssey app, or anywhere else podcasts are found. Thanks for listening to Fantasy Baseball Today in 5, and we'll be back again tomorrow. Bye-bye! 